Hey guys, it's Jeffrey. Welcome to another blog post. This time we are going to Goodwill to hopefully find something that we can fix up and put in our homes and add a little bit of value, have some fun with this project. Um, Goodwill is one of my favorite places to go. Anytime I'm ever off, like I usually hit the place up. There's three or four here in town where I live. Um, but if you live close to a Goodwill, I do encourage you to find find it, go and explore. Um, you may already be doing it, but there's a lot of good things that you can get. The Goodwill that I'm going to today is a little bit higher priced than some of the other ones. Um, and it's just because of the area of town. It's very close to my house. Um, but I'm sitting here also, in the side note, it is 46 degrees here and I'm already here at the Goodwill and I decided to wear shorts. So we will see what kind of looks like it. Thing cold guys. So cold. Starting my decision to wear shorts. I'm getting a lot of funny looks. Yeah, I'll okay. always look for it. It's going to be like lot fixtures and stuff. Um, just because sometimes if they're in good condition, the wiring is good. You can usually like redo those. Um, and they're very, very cheap. So we, this Goodwill actually has another service out, so we're gonna go there. Okay, I'm walking back to the car on and turn this heat up because it is so cold, guys. It is so cold. I normally don't get colds, but this, that, chilly, chilly. Just headed back home I purchased a rather large dresser which we are going to redo and it's quite a big project it's very very heavy um the, the deal that I got on this was literally the best it was ten dollars and it is massive it's this huge dresser it's missing two drawers on the bottom but to be honest I think it would be really pretty I've seen some stuff on Pinterest before um but it's I, I want to put baskets in the bottom, I think, if I redo it, but uh, it, it was just such a good deal to pass up. It was originally $20, and then they marked it down to 10 because I guess it wasn't selling because the drawers were missing. So I'm pulling in to my neighborhood now, and I'm so excited to show you all what it looks like and then what we're going to do to it because it's going to be pretty, and this is like some of my favorite things to do. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm actually gonna transform this to more of like a modern. I'm gonna keep the hardware the same, but I'm actually gonna be painting it a matte black. So I'm very excited. And I'm of course gonna bring you all along on the journey. So here is what I've done so far. I actually ended up doing it, going a different direction with this dresser. And I first painted a layer of black and I did it really thin and then I'm staining over it. And if you look, this looks so good. Um, it looks like really rich and like a dark mahogany wood, um, but I love the way it's turning out. So I actually think I'm going this direction with it and I'm already pleased with how it's turning out. I started and the stain has officially dried. So I'm gonna show you all what that looks like. I typically actually do a little bit different technique, which I'm gonna walk you through when it comes to stain because it does take a while to dry, but we'll take a look at it, see how everything looks. And then I'm actually, I've thought about this and I, I think I'm gonna chalk paint over the stain and then that way we can distress it and I can show you all what like the distress technique that I use. So let's get started. Is the dresser officially stained? Um, what I did was, and you can kind of see, I sprayed a finish over this and that way it helped it dry faster. One thing about stains that I really get annoyed with is that they take forever to dry. And I really do like this finish to be honest with you, but I'm gonna um, chalk paint over it. But putting that spray finish over and i usually do like a clear gloss i'll show you what i use this allows for the stain to dry a lot faster and this is the gloss that i decided to use for this project i have used a couple different kinds but this is actually very budget friendly i think this can was um four dollars and i only used one can i bought two just in case because this is a big dresser this one can did all of this dresser and the paint that i'm choosing to use for this is going to be this plaster waverly chalk paint and you'll see that it's in a ziploc bag that's because i did lose the lid but i did not want to um, lose this paint because i only used a little bit of it for another project so i did put it in a ziploc bag you got to do what you got to do now people always ask me what are the benefits of using chalk paint on a project 
and to be honest with you it's not just for a distressed look although that's kind of what I'm gonna go for today a little bit distressed I'm gonna use a wax that's gonna antique the um, corners and some of the detail on this project but chalk paint goes on very um, evenly and it also you don't have to use a lot of coats so that's one reason that I personally like using it you would take the hardware off and that's something that I normally I'm gonna leave it black that way it's gonna look really good against this like white creamy color that we're doing this is the plaster chalk paint that I used on this however when I go over it with the last finish that we're gonna do it's gonna look really kind of French country country ish and chilly here so I'm gonna show you guys what the desk looks like or the dresser rather and then I'm gonna head inside to warm up and then I'll warm up and come back out here I do suggest that you use some kind of like heater or if you're doing this outside like obviously stay warm and protect yourself because I am freezing this is kind of where we stand with the painting of chalk paint again a little goes a long way here so this is my chalk paint is one of my favorite things to paint with okay I'm inside getting warm and I wanted to show you all something that I found last week and added to my dining room table. So I wanna show you what that looks like with my Christmas decor because I love it. And there it is, it's a Magnolia Farms. It's a Magnolia home by Joanna Gaines. It is made to look like an antique. I think it's a sifter of some sort. Um, I know my grandparents use this and I remember like putting dirt in here and then trying to shake out the rocks or shake to get the rocks left in here. So I just love the way this looks and I added it to my table here in the middle and put some of my Christmas candles and things in here and it looks so good. Okay, so one thing that is a little bit different about this than when I originally started, I was planning on just putting one coat of chalk paint on this dresser, but once the chalk paint dried, I kind of looked at what I wanted to do with that brown wax paint and I looked at how this turned out and I decided I wanted to add a second coat. It's totally optional. The thing that I love about distressing furniture, and I think the reason that it's so hard to find like techniques on how to do it is there's no wrong way to distress furniture. It's really just however you want it to look, and distressing is, there, there's no one size fits all. So for me, I wanted this to be a little bit more um, of this color, of this like plaster color, so that when I add that wax, it's gonna really antique this. Again, there was nothing wrong with the way that it was once I did the first coat, but I wanted it to be a little bit more clean with less distressing so it, it's totally up to you is however you want to play it sometimes i start a project and my vision changes throughout the project nothing wrong with that either um that's why this is so much fun and you get to really be creative this dresser has been so many different colors in the time that i've owned it and it was a ten dollar piece so for that i can have the freedom to change as many times as i want to that's how I, it's fun The really cool thing about chalk paint too that I absolutely adore is that there's no, again, there's no right way or wrong way to do this. You can really just kind of get creative and I've changed the way that I'm doing this two or three times. I do that with every project. I go into it with one vision and then I change your mind as I go along and that's what it's about. Home is about creating pieces that you can really talk about and have a story when your family or friends come around and that is exactly what this piece is going to be for our home. So I really encourage you to explore your creative side when you're painting these pieces and have fun with it. Okay, so the dresser is officially done drying with the white paint. I've looked at it. I think I've got enough chalk paint on there. You can see I've got it on my hands. Totally okay. What we're gonna do now is we are going to actually start applying the antiquing wax. I wanted to show you all while I was out here, just the leaves are changing here in Florida and you know, you kind of don't think of Florida being a place where leaves fall, but um, they are 
and it is so pretty out here. Just any tips or tricks that I can come up with, I will definitely share with you guys in the video. Okay, y'all, I've got my antique wax. We're gonna get started putting this on. Again, this will be a learning moment for both of us. Never be fearful of what you're gonna um, get with a project because guess what, you can put some stri paint stripper on it or you can paint over it and keep going and sometimes even that's the best option because you turn out with something that's totally different than your vision and you really like it more. Be open-minded when it comes to projects because there's always roadblocks that you can encounter, but push forward and the end result is usually gone. As you can see, this is what the top of the dresser now looks like with the wax finish. And that wax just does such a great job of making this look really worn and old. So now what I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna do this everywhere, but I'm gonna do this a little bit in corners of the dresser. I'm gonna start adding a little bit of this as well as a little bit up here. So I kind of started right here. And what that's gonna do is just kind of fill in in some of these really intricate detail that's on this dresser. And it's really gonna give us a little bit more of an answer. As you can see, this store is really starting to come along and get that vintage -y old look and that's what we're going for i don't know how old this dresser is i know it is pretty old it's very heavy it looks like it was handmade it feels like it was handmade um so i just want to bring back that character and really highlight these pieces and that's what the beauty of using this wax is and again i'm not a professional at this i'm just kind of doing my own thing and my own technique um but i am really satisfied with the way this turned out so i will be sure that i show you guys what i'm using and it is this waverly antique wax Waverly is one of my favorite chalk paints. It is. Okay, you guys, so the dresser is now done. I just put the finish on it. We're about to go outside, take a look at it. I'm so excited with the way it turned out, especially with the varnish that we put on it, or the wax, rather. The wax looks so good. It's something that I'm going to use in the future, but I hope that you all enjoy this project. Now let's go see the reveal. Well, guys, that concludes another DIY blog post. I hope that you enjoyed or learn something at least from this video how to distress furniture or at least my tips and tricks on that. Hopefully this helped. This was actually my first time using this antiquing wax and I cannot believe how well this turned out. So if you have anything in the future that you want to see, please send me a message or you can put it in the comments below because there are more posts coming. Um, the next blog post will come in two weeks. Here you go guys, thank you so much. Hopefully this has helped you turn your house into a home. Until we meet again, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Continue to share with your family and friends so I can get that message out there on how to make a house a home and have a happy holidays. Thanks, guys.